What's up YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to the channel Weldon Tanks. So we're back down here working the fish room again. Like I said, we are cranking away on stuff, really trying to get cut up on projects and get fish in the fish room. We have one major problem that we absolutely need to address right away, and that is I actually messed up on the auto water change system. So we we are in my uh, utility room. Let me kind of pan you around here. So this is the room right adjacent to the fish room, you know, behind this wall is where the fish room is. And this is kind of the heart of the fish room, right? So we have the whole auto water change system back here. Uh, the air pump that Aquarian Co-op sponsored me with is up here on the shelf, connecting up into that manifold. Then right behind the camera is actually where I have all of the RO system and the water storage tank for the reef tank coming. So this is really like the heart of the fish room. And this is where I say, it's where I set up my auto water change. And this is where the issue comes into. It's these three valves right here. Now, what I did was I wanted to use this RO tubing, this quarter inch RO tubing, because in my opinion, it is the easiest and best way to do an auto water change system. Very easy to work with, very simple to get straight cuts on. Everything's push connect. You don't need to glue anything together. Um, the fittings are, fairly inexpensive but with, with that push connect fitting and not having to glue parts together I don't worry about leaking I don't worry about them you know bursting apart anything like that <clears throat> and I really like the quarter inch tubing to where it's very small in diameter it's not very noticeable and it's very easily you know run through a wall hung up with zip ties different things but it was actually adapting to the ball valves that where I ran into some issues <clears throat> now I really got this idea from Dean, uh, watching Dean's fishing through Aquarium Co-op, is watching his all auto water change system. I knew I wanted to implement something like that on this fish room. My last fish room, I never fully completed the auto water change system, and it was honestly kind of a pain to get the water going. So with this setup though, it's very quick, very easy, literally turn a handle and the water's going. But what I let me let me pull you in and show you the mistake I made and what we're gonna do to fix it. All right, so hopefully the camera's picking this up. I gotta stop talking with my hands for a minute so the camera focuses where it needs to focus. So as you can see, we're, I upgraded the ball valves from the original ball valves I had. I originally only had just the regular PVC pipe ball valves. My issue with those is they actually freeze up over time and get harder and harder to turn, <clears throat> and you can eventually break them. So I upgraded these to a true union ball valve. These are still half inch, and what's honestly, this, this is really kind of what saved me. This is what saved me from having to do more work is the reason is actually upgrading to these. And let me show you why. <clears throat> so with these true unions, these top and bottom pieces actually thread off of the ball valves, allowing me to completely separate them. And here is the problem I ran into. That'll focus here. So we used, wow, focus, there we go. We were using these quarter inch push connect ball valves. And this is what I wanted to use on these because they're very sleek, they're very fitting, right? And it's just a half inch thread. And the reason I like these true union ball valves is it actually comes with two pieces in the packaging, allowing you to either simultaneously change out one that's a threaded connection and one that is a slip connection. So I originally went with this threaded connection. Man, that is having a hard time focusing. Let's try this. I originally went with this the threaded connection to the push connect bulkhead connected here because I wanted this to be sleek and fitting. Well, the issue I'm having is everything is leaking right here on the threads. This is where I'm getting leakage from. I was actually getting leakage from all three ball valves it is right there on the, each thread. So I tried, you know, I put a massive amount of Teflon tape on these. I even put some PVC glue on these. Nothing just sealed it up correctly. And I honestly, I knew better. I knew better than to use these bulkheads because I knew there was an easier way. And let me, let me show you, let me show you what I'm talking about here. All right, so we got a couple pieces we're working with down here. That's why it's gonna, it's gonna, it, this may sound a little confusing, but trust me, the way I am changing these out to is better, way better, easier to do. So these are still half inch bulkheads and all I'm gonna do, this is why I like these true unions. All these I'm gonna do is switch that top piece out to the slit fitting. I have a 
couple inch length of half inch PVC pipe that will get glued to that slip fitting. So that's going to give me a nice seal right here around that slip fitting. Don't have to worry about that anymore. That's not going to leak. Then I bought a half inch slip to a three quarter inch thread adapter. Or what do they, what do they call these? A reducing, a reducing adapter, right? So there's the main piece that's gonna get connected to the ball valve. Now to adapt down to the quarter inch RO tubing, and this is where I messed up on. I, I really should have used these in the first place. What this is, this is a three quarter inch hose adapter for RO tubing. So this is gonna allow you to adapt to like a garden hose. This will allow you to adapt to, let's say, um, geez, that's not focusing. You know, down to like a utility sink, like whatever you wanna do. And what's nice is they have these rubber seals already inside of it. So it's already a rubber gasket inside of it. And they actually recommend that you do not put Teflon tape around the threaded portion as that Teflon tape can actually cause these to leak. So I'm probably like kind of half in, half out of camera, but I really wanna focus here on these ball valves. So we're gonna take that three quarter inch adapter and literally just thread it on. That's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna thread that on. I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna replace this piece with the ball valve and I'm ready to rock and roll again. And it's fixed. Quarter inch will adapt down to it. It's that push connect fitting again. So instead of using, oh, where did I put it? There it is. So instead of using these threaded bulkheads, I should have just done this in the first place because this is actually a better connection because of that rubber gasket inside versus <clears throat> trying to make my own seal with an insane amount of Teflon tape. It really is. So way better option. Links will be down in the description below, both to the three quarter hose adapter for the RO, as well as the these exact bulkheads that I purchased from Bulk Reef Supply. But I will find some Amazon links to some true union ball valves that should work about the same on these. Um, these are designed to have more, you know, rotation and more use in their lifespan. So let's go ahead and get these switched out and then we'll kind of give you a further rundown of the entire system. And before I forget, this is actually a perfect opportunity to show you how to disconnect RO tubing. So most RO tubing, you can buy a, a very specific tool that will allow you to push down the fitting and release the RO tubing. Um, a wrench will work for this, pliers work for this, a screwdriver works for this, your fingers can work for this. But this little tool is the best thing I've ever found for this. So it allows you to slip right over that fitting. You decompress it. They're kind of a booger sometimes, but it, there you go, literally like that. You push that fitting down and it just releases that RO tubing. Very, very simple, very effective. Little bit of work, but honestly, this little tool will allow you to reuse everything RO. So now that I've got this first one reconnected up, it's literally just this. So again, this RO tubing, all push connect fitting, we are gonna reattach it right there. And that, that line is done. That line is completed. And that's the way that I'm going to run my manifold now. And this is, again, this is a way better way of doing the auto water change system from what I previously had. This connection here is a lot more safe. It's more structurally sound and it will, it should not cause anything to leak from this point forward. So say really hope that helps somebody. I really do because I'm, I'm that guy that I have to make like a mistake once to not do it again. Right? Like I knew that this was the better way to do it. And I just didn't do it. I used those core, those, half inch threaded bulkheads that were causing issues. So I'm curious, like, did this help you? Did this show you a better way to do an auto water change system? And you know, leave me a comment. I always like hearing what you guys have going on. So we're gonna continue working on the fish room. I'm gonna finish up these other two, but I really just wanna give you a good rundown of how this will connect up. And then I may just need to go trim my, uh, my RO line here, right here, just to make it look a little nicer, but. As always, thank you everybody for joining me. I hope you are having a great night and we'll talk to you guys on the next one.